One of the things that characterizes a number of planetary bodies in our solar system is we all have ice. Two or three years ago, an international team of us uh, journeyed to the Russian sector of Antarctica and on the surface of an ice-covered lake, we discovered that tiny handheld lasers could probe molecules that are critical for life and give us a warm, glowy signature that something was in the ice other than just water and rocks and minerals. We decided that since it's so straightforward to do this here on Earth, that it'd be equally uh, straightforward to do it on any planet uh, around the solar system. In essence, what happens is light comes back from our sample and we have this series of optics that focuses it, splits it into two paths because in the end we're going to want to take two pieces of information, both a picture and a spectrum. And then we simply take a picture of that. To interpret the results from that camera, we had to design a software that could like grab the pictures from that camera and then tell us what that picture means. Uh, for example, if you found a rock somewhere, just like this brown one you see in this image, you can't really tell that there's something living on it. But if you shine some UV light on it, you'll see that it can fluoresce red. And that tells us that there's chlorophyll there. So we know that there's organisms living on that rock that can do photosynthesis. What this project involved is uh, sort of taking theoretical ideas about how measurements should be made and how spectra could be obtained and uh, turning that into actual working hardware. It's certainly true for me and I think for the students as well that they sort of uh, gained some new uh, experience in uh, fabricating as well as uh, designing uh, scientific instruments. No one's ever been able to take both an image and the spectra at exactly the same time, very rapidly, so we can follow um, changes in biology in a few minutes of time and give, give someone real evidence that what we're looking at is, uh, is an active, living, biological system. That is now possible with what they've created here.